Hello, children of God. My name is Yemi. I trust you are doing well. Thank you so much for joining me today and for always coming back to this channel. Thank you for your prayers for me, your support and your words of encouragement. And thank you for sharing your testimonies of God's awesome deeds in your lives. Your testimonies are encouraging a lot of people to keep seeking the Lord and to keep trusting him. So thank you. God bless you. If this is your first time here, you're welcome. Welcome to the family of God and to this beautiful community where God is moving and doing amazing and miraculous things in our midst. May the Lord bless you abundantly in Jesus' name. Before I share this word, I would like to state that this word, just like every prophetic word, may not be for everyone. Also, for the purpose of those who may be joining us or watching my video for the first time, I will give some background information. In May of this year, God gave me two specific dates two specific dates and revealed some things to me about these dates. I've already shared the words about one of the dates, which was June 25th. And glory to God, praises to his holy name for all the testimonies that have been shared about that message. We return all the praise to him. The second date, which I hinted at in that video, is July 31st. And recently, the Lord also gave me some more dates, which I will be sharing in other videos as I receive more clarity from the Lord. For this date, July 31st, the Lord gave me three distinct messages, which I believe are for different people. I believe they are for different individuals and I received one scripture. Whichever of these three messages resonate with you, I want to encourage you to receive it with faith. Praise God. This is a good place to pray. So let's say a quick prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before you today with heart full of gratitude for the privilege of knowing you and hearing your voice and your words. We thank you for your love, your grace and mercy that sustain us each day. Thank you for what you've done, what you are doing in our lives and in our midst right now, what you will do for us in the future and what you are set to accomplish in your kingdom through us. Lord, thank you for the many miracles, breakthroughs, and testimonies that will arise as a result of this message. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, we ask for forgiveness of sins, for we are sinners in need of you, our Savior. Please forgive us our sins and shortcomings. Father, cleanse us from all unrighteousness and purify our hearts. Help us to lay down our burdens and distractions so that we can fully focus on you and your words. Father, we invite your Holy Spirit to move freely among us today. Open our hearts and our mind to receive your word. Father, use me as your vessel. Let every word that comes from my mouth be guided by your Holy Spirit. May your message be delivered with clarity and with power. Let it touch every heart and bring glory to your name alone. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Now let's get into the message. I saw the words appointment and commission and two other words which I will share as number twos and three. In front of each line of this word was the date July 31st. I wrote those words down and took some time to seek the Lord for clarity and details. And I heard the Lord say, on this day, July 31st, there will be an appointment and a commissioning. Appointment and commissioning. Speaking about appointments, the Lord says someone will be officially assigned a specific position or role of authority. 
And speaking about commissioning, the Lord says this individual will also be officially empowered to carry out specific duties and missions. I also saw there's a form of ceremony that will accompany this. The Lord says your journey has now reached a pivotal point where the challenges you face are matched by the strength and wisdom you have gained. Hence the appointment and the commissioning. The Lord says you may feel underprepared, but know that I have been equipping you all along. He says it may not look like what you expected, but it will bring fulfillment to you and glory to my name. The second word I saw written was life-changing information. Life-changing information. As I saw the Lord about this word, I heard the Lord say, I will release life-changing information and instructions through a divine encounter. Someone will receive information and instructions that will change their life forever for good. This is not just any information, but a divine revelation. The last word I saw written was, you will see me. The Lord says, you will see me. This does not mean that you will see God physically, but that you will see his mighty deeds and everything he represents. God is going to show you his power, his love, and his faithfulness in undeniable ways. Underline the words undeniable ways. You will witness miracles, answers to prayers, and interventions that will leave you in awe. Thus, manifestations of God's presence will strengthen your faith and encourage those around you. When I wrote down those words, I heard the scripture in my spirit. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefit. And that is Psalm 103, verse 2. I believe this will be your testimony. And when those words come to pass in your life, remember to bless God. Remember to thank him for his mercy, his love, and his mighty works. Tell others what he has done for you so that his name may be glorified. Praise God. The hand of the Lord goes along with us words. And so they will become effectual. They will become real and impactful to those who they are meant for and those who believe. This is the word of the Lord for you. I pray you receive it and I pray it's a blessing. Father, thank you for your word which has been delivered to your children. Thank you because you watch over your words to fulfill them. Thank you because not a dot from your word will go unfulfilled. Father, we ask for your guidance and wisdom as we step into this new appointments and commissions. Help us to walk in the authority and power you have given us, Lord. Release the life-changing information and instructions that will transform our lives for good. Let us receive your revelations, Father, with open hearts. Show us your mighty deeds, Father, and let your presence be evident in our lives. In the name of Jesus, strengthen our faith and help us to be witnesses of your greatness to those around us. Oh Lord, may we never forget your benefits efforts and always give you the glory for all you have done and will do for us. Lord, we'll receive your word. we we'll believe your word. we we'll trust you, Lord. we we'll trust that your word will come to fulfillment, that we will see the manifestation of this word and your promises in our lives and in our midst, oh God, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. I love you. And I'm praying for you. God bless you.